do 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 all right welcome back another noob flights this one is going to be using the uh, autopilot alt also vertical speed up down and the flight change a button so let me clear my noob flights out of the way so we're looking at the garmin uh 1000 i can pull up the older version and the one without the G1000, I guess most people won't have that. I probably should have started there, but this one was already running. So we'll just go with it. All right. Again, the autopilot controls are on your main, the master uh, display, the MFD, right? Or the PFD, one of them. And this one's supposed to be like the MFD. There are two screens. This is the co-pilot screen, and this is your screen. So the co-pilot has the same buttons over there as you have over here. So whichever buttons you want to push. Uh, if it's not already engaged, when you engage the autopilot, it'll hold uh, the flight configuration that you're in. As I, you know, I guess I could uh, check here, but even if you're in a climb position or whatever it's normally supposed to just kind of hold you at where you're at but experiment around with it uh so if i just engage it now it's gonna hold us where we were and let it settle and there we are okay now that's all good and well but you want to absolutely make sure that it's holding an altitude the altitude that you want. Here is the alt button. Make sure that I'm zoomed in as far as I can. With this the alt button. That noob flights is still up there, kind of hanging in there. Just saw that. Sorry about that. Okay, so there's the alt button, and it'll hold the altitude that you're at. But you want to change altitude. Now, some people are saying this doesn't work the same way in the real world. I don't know. I know what works here sometimes. All right. So normally they said uh, when you change your altitude using your altitude buttons, uh, knobs here, that it should change automatically. So let's find out if that's the case. The big button on the back side, uh, the, the big knob is thousands of feet. And the smaller knob in front, there's two knobs there. Uh, is hundreds of feet so let's go up a thousand feet no not down up two thousand feet nothing ha nothing is happening why not okay good question this requires you to hit the flight level change button okay the flight level change button the very bottom button on the left hand side of the autopilot controls but look, we also have a vertical speed button and a nose up and a nose down. But first things first, let's click the flight change button. That sounds like what we wanted to do, right? Change the flight level. And let's go back over here and look. See what's going on. Oh, we're at 12,000 feet. No wonder it's not doing anything. But it's still, it should, it should be going down to like 5,000 feet. Let's make sure everything's on. Autopilot's on. that shouldn't matter that's on so what happened I don't know let's try to raise it to like 13,000 feet okay so now I just raised the number to 13 and it's got sufficient power to start raising us to 13,000 feet I think. Let me check my mix. We should have power. Okay. It's doing the best it can right at the moment. We might go, be going into the wind. Okay. So, yeah. 
Now, it should work on a flight change down. Now, this might be buggy. So I think that, that could be the problem. Or you need to lower your throttle. So let's try that. Let's drop it down to, you know, 8,000 and hit flight level change and see what happens. Nothing's happening. Okay, my throttle is open full. Let me cut half throttle or drop the power. Let's see what it does. Now that we've taken throttle out, it is deciding, okay, I can do that. I'll go ahead and start trying to get you down to 8,000. But boy, it sure is going slow. And now ATC is piping up, hey, can you expedite your descent? And they'll bother you a lot. Hey, are you not listening to me? Can you expedite your descent? But, 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 but but I'm on autopilot and it's doing what it wants. Hey, can you expedite your descent? Maybe. Let's click that vertical speed button. Turn vertical speed mode on. And let's push and use the nose down button. Now it's going up. Vertical speed, let's use the down button. See the, the fuchsia, the pink arrow? That's me telling it I want the nose to be here because ATC is in my rear end and they want me to expedite my darn descent. To 8,000 feet. Now, with any luck, we're expediting. They should be awful happy. We're going at an unsafe descent speed, but hey, they won't leave us alone. They killed the power. Try to take the stress off the engine. With all luck now, the autopilot will level us out at 8,000 feet. And we won't go crashing into the ground. Whoa, hey, guess what? There's a mountain ahead. Yeah, you're telling me. Disengage the autopilot. Oh, should have planned that one a little bit better. You know, as just as I was thinking too, I was going to make a joke about it. I'm like, you know, situational awareness. They want you to. Da -da 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 -da. And I looked out the window, the side window, as I was about to make my situational awareness comment as we about to go crashing into the side of the mountain okay so what we need to do is get out here get into the kind of safe level configuration let me get my nose up holy moly let's re-engage let's uh let's check everything we don't want to go down again so we're at uh wow we're ten thousand feet all right so let's get our thousand knob here change it to 13,000 feet. Engage the autopilot. Hey, hey, hey. And hit flight level change. Hey. Why it's turning. I didn't turn on heading. We'll try to flip back over. It wants to kill us. Never trust an autopilot. Again, it's, you know, idiot input in, idiot input out. So um, that little ding was, it was disengaging. I told it to um, make sure the heading is not on. Heading is off. Engaging the autopilot. It wants to turn, baby. Oh, it isn't. Okay. That was it. Did It must be from the last mission that heading was still selected. All right, either way, it should be trying to get us up now. Yeah, you need to know what to do. You need to know what to do, and you need to know how to do it fast. <laughs> and I think that's the most beautiful thing about the simulator is we're not going to die much in, inside. Um, but how to react, how to do the right thing as fast as possible. I hope I get a gold star from you, Captain. You have that extra plane laying around? I'm really thinking I might want to try this. 
I know you've got an extra one. All right, it is taking its sweet time. Flight level change is on. It is climbing, but again, it's not climbing fast enough. So let me hit that vertical speed and bring the nose back up before it plunges us into the ground. Can't say I did that on purpose to gain the speed. Nope, can't say that at all. All right. It's a cold day and we don't have a whole lot of power and we're going to lose a lot of speed. We'll probably put ourselves into, uh, I'm probably going to put us into stall territory with that maneuver. So let me start dropping it again so we don't fall out of the sky now again. Use the, the nose down button. So yeah, play with these, know how to use them, know how far you can push them before it kills you. All right, so flight level change, vertical speed, nose up and nose down, and your altitude. Let's have it hold altitude right there. So I hit the alt button, and that should override everything. Should. And that should level us out. And that should disengage the other ones. It still says flight level changes on. Oh, okay, it did disengage this turn flight on yeah so when we hit alt it disengaged those and from the last le lesson heading so you don't run to the mountain let me click the heading button first of all let me turn my heading knob away from the mountain let's look out east uh, it doesn't look good in any direction eh, well we're not going to run into that mountain right now hit the heading button Look at that. It went left to go right. Silly computer. And we could use still use some more altitude, so raise that up to fourteen thousand heat feet and hit the flight level change button. So I hope uh, that you start playing around with those now and start having a lot of fun it feels good it feels good to be like star trekking you know what i mean it's cool to know how to use it with the old stuff but then you know you call your girlfriend in the room and you're like yo check this out just do it better than i did so you impress her look look honey big pimpin you can take her on a vacation All right, so that ends that one. And uh, again, I got a list of videos that I'd like to do. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do next. I, I, I'm going to get to ILS before the end of the day. And I think I keep putting it off because it's one of those hit and misses with me right now with Microsoft Flight Simulator. I've done it successfully repeatedly in X-Plane. But I really haven't been able to stick it too good in... Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 so far. So I'll get to it before the end of the day, I promise. We'll do ILS. And that is instrument landing and where the where the plane will take us all the way to the runway. And you definitely want as you start experimenting more and more with bad weather, don't think, well, I can fly in bad weather and make my way to the ground. Ha ha ha. That's what we all think. I've got eagle eyes. I can do it. I can do all my my landings manual. Uh uh uh. I mean, you might be wunderkind. You might be a a, a wunderkind, a wonder kid. But most of us aren't. And so you really need to. But again, it's a big pimping when you show your girlfriend. Check it out, honey. I'm gonna make the plane land itself for the most part. You know, you just have to turn off the autopilot at the last second and pull the nose up. That's it. 
So if we do it all right, yeah, by the end of the night, you can be showing off to your uh, your girlfriend or significant other, saying, check it out, honey, big pimpin', big pimpin'. 